Hey guys, I'm Aaron. I'm Marty, and we were shooting Stuff Australia. And uh, thanks again to uh, Pro Tactical and Rigby. We have another Rigby for you to take a look at. This one's a little bit cheaper than yeah. the last one we showed you. This one is the Rigby Highland Stalker, chambered in 275 Rigby, also yeah. known as 7x57 Malva. Yeah, beautiful rifle. It's, um, yeah, it's a good weight to it, very good weight. It's a nice weight. It's not so, super heavy like the uh, 450 that we reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a little bit lighter, a bit easier to carry around. Um, well, once again, it's off a of Mauser action, and this is how they used to build them in the 30s. Uh, hence the, uh, the cover for dirt and the tight on leather sling. This is how they came out back then. Yep, there was no sling swivels back in the day. No, and it's got a quick release mount for your scope, so you can use the flip up sights. That isn't a feature from the 1930s. No, <laughs> neither is this sort of scope. <laughs> but uh, once again, a smooth, smooth action, smooth rifle, yep. solidly built, beautiful yep. walnut. It's just amazing, mm. truly amazing. So the price point on these is what, around $12,000? Around $12,000. Yeah. You can new. customize all these with like, as you saw on the 450, and the peep sight, you can customize all these to what you like and in a whole range of calibers as well. Yeah. It's a very nice piece of Turkish walnut. Uh, it's a very classic looking hunting rifle. Yep. Um, so this is what you take again. These are sort of targeted at people that like to do um, overseas hunting, particularly in Africa. Uh, and you can see this being used on species like um, zebra, kudu, um, yeah. springbok. Um, yeah, basically anything apart from you. I'll take down you know, giraffes and stuff like that. I'm not sure about the caliber restriction would be the only thing, because being know. a seven millimeter caliber, I'm not sure if it's I legal or not. I don't know anything about yeah, African hunting. Yeah, I know very, very little about African hunting. Nothing whatsoever. Uh, but it is a beautiful rifle, something that you can pass down through the generations. Yeah. Um, the recoil impulse on 7x57 is supposed to be quite comfortable um, to shoot, so I'm looking forward to getting out into the field and having a, a go of that. Um, the round look, I don't know, to me look a bit like this new um, 6.5 Creedmoor. Yeah, to me it's sort of, sort of in, looks like it's in between a, um, we'll throw a picture up behind us of the 7 57 It kind of looks a little bit like a really tapered 308, somewhere in between 308 and 30 or yeah. 6. Yeah. Uh, they're only 135 grain pill, uh, the one we'll be using today. Yep. Um, so it should be pretty manageable on recall, I, I reckon. I um, love this gun, I love, yeah. I love the weight of it. Like all, it, yeah. Yeah. Well, like all yeah. Well, like all finish, the fit and finish is second to none. Um, it's got all the features of a standard modern bolt action rifle. Yeah. Um, it's a four round internal magazine. Yeah, yeah, four round. Um, plus one plus, plus one in the spout, so that that gives you your five rounds. Very very um, smooth action, as you said before. Yeah. One thing I find sort of a little bit funny about the Rugers is the angle of the bolt. Yeah. It used to sort of be up a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, whereas this is really streamlined for going through the bush, you know, yeah. But all in all, a beautiful package there, and it for is. around twelve thousand um, dollars, it's probably a little bit more affordable. These yeah. are an entry level Rigby, yeah. Um, but by no means is it like it's not cheap, like cheap, cheap, mate. This is pure quality. This yeah. is it makes it makes a Seiko look like a Savage Axis, yeah. It does definitely. Sorry, Seiko and others, but. It really does. We don't, no hate on Seiko, but dead set compared to like a Seiko 85 or a Seiko Black Bear. Yeah. Not even, not even a comparison. We've gone through this with a fine tooth comb and there's nothing. We can't find one imperfection in any of this. Any at all. It's just amazing. Perfect weight. Feels nice. Looks nice. Works nice. Mm. No, really, I, really nice. The other thing I don't like about it is I can't afford to add one to my collection. That's yeah. the only bad thing I've got to say about it. Yeah, the price thing's <laughs> much. They're rich for my blood, but, but... Yeah, no, I love it. Beautiful uh, rifle all around, finished off with a Swarovski optic. Yeah. Um, this which is, is a beautiful crystal clear optic. I had a bit of a look through it before, and um, yeah, really, really crystal clear. I recommend if you get a chance to have a look at these, have a look at these. Yes, absolutely. Sure. If, you're, if you're in the market for a really good hunting rifle, it's just um, pure classic and class. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing, nothing plasticky about it like some of the rifles today. But hey, which I've got no problem with. No, I, I don't uh, mind a bit of plastic on the right type of rifle, but... This is just pure. Absolutely beautiful, so... Very old school. Let's stop gas bagging and get out in the field and do some shooting. Thanks, guys. Thanks, shooters.
Okay guys, we're just going to do a bit of an accuracy test. We've got our torso target set up down there at 100 metres. Um, this scope sighted to the eye of the owner of the rifle, so we're not going to mess with it. So I'm just going to put a three round group onto that target and hold the same point of aim. Um, like any bolt action rifle, the Rigby, incredibly smooth action. Incredibly smooth, like nothing I've ever felt before. Just loads from the top. We're using the Hornady Super Performance, which I believe is a 139 grain SST projectile, which is a ballistic tip. Very, very smooth. Now, I've not shot this off a bench before, so I'm assuming it's going to kick a little bit. This thing is always too low for me. Okay. And the clarity of this Swarovski optic is brilliant. So the recoil is actually quite, quite tame. I was expecting a little bit more boot than that, to be honest. And it's shooting about four inches high for me. But geez, that boot is, that bolt is smooth. It's like silk. stacked them in all on top of each other. Let's go down and have a look. Okay, so we've got a pretty reasonable group there. It's about an inch and a bit, inch and a half at 100 meters, uh, which is, these aren't a precision rifle. They're not designed for shooting one whole groups at 100 meters. They're designed for putting down big game and that type of group for that rifle is very, very acceptable. Um, so yeah. Well shot, um, that's just using factory ammo too. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could tune that to shoot a one hole group with reloading, but we're just using factory ammo here today and that's more than acceptable for that. Okay, we've got some FBI grade ballistics gel down there. We'll see if we can catch the bullet. Only went through into the one and I think it ricocheted off. As we can see, it looks like that's the exit. And I think the entry was here. This is an old old one we had lying around. Cycled a few times this one. Yeah, look at that beautiful cavity wound. Bits of um bit of jacket in here, right through here. Let's have a light That's it. Yep, so we've got bits of um, copper jacket. Nice. Those, um, well, those SSTs are a ballistic tip projectile, so they are designed to explode quite violently on him. Yeah. Yeah, that is beautiful. That'll take most things down, I dare say. Just to demonstrate how pleasant this is to shoot, I'm going to shoot it prone, uh, which is not something you'd probably recommend with a big game rifle, but this calibre is really, really pleasant to shoot. Um, there's not a huge amount of recoil, so got eight pumpkins down there. We're going to see how many this SST round demolishes with one shot. Probably most. most. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so if you're a vegan, but you still like your hunting, 
uh, very, very effective on the pumpkins, as you can see. Uh, it's gone into the first pumpkin, basically blown its brains clean out, ricocheted off the second pumpkin, and gone off into the great blue yonder up there on the hill. You got an entry point here? Uh, actually, yeah, there's the entry there. Ugh, it's just, it's just all just a mess. So it not only will it kill your pumpkin, it'll also process it into soup for you. Okay, just going to load up here so you can get a bit of a first person look at it. Using the Marty hat cam. Going to load up, we found some pumpkins in their natural environment. And I'll put a couple on some steel plates too, just so you can see how much this calibre makes them wobble. Pumpkin number one is a gauner. As you can see, very, very effective on the pumpkins. Second pumpkin up there on the stump. Made short work of him too. We've got our small swinging plate here. Made that swing around a bit. Another plate up here. We'll give it a quick tap now. Beautiful. Performed magically. Love it. Okay, try and get some of these pumpkins. See if we're gonna hit them. Whoa. Man, that's a beautiful gun. It's so smooth. Did that just loop all the way around? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was amazing, that. Truly amazing. That was. I'd really like to thank uh, Pro Tactical and Rigby for the opportunity to bring this rifle out into the field today and shoot it. Um, most shooters, for a rifle in this price tag, you're only ever going to get to look at one at the shop. Yeah. Maybe if the guys at the shop feeling generous are going to let you hold one. Uh, so it has been an amazing experience to shoot a rifle of this quality. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, definitely. People say, oh, you know, 12 grand for a rifle. And this is only an entry level Rigby too, mind yeah. you, uh, 12 grand. Uh, we're not paying 12 grand for a rifle. Yeah, what, what does it do that other things don't? Well, yeah, if, if you have 12 grand to spend on a rifle, do it. Because yeah. shooting this today was just phenomenal. The quality is beyond amazing. The timber. How smooth it is. The caliber itself to shoot, 275 yeah. Rigby, absolute pussycat. Um, there's yeah. barely any recoil at all for the amount of knockdown power that the thing has. The weight, perfectly weighted. The just being able to, yeah, just perfect. Everything perfect. Absolutely loved it. Yep, and nothing failed, no jams, no nothing. That um, Swarovski gorgeous. optic is just beautiful. Um, yeah. Very clear optic. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously, you're not going to want to buy one of these and then put a cheap eBay special or anything on top of yeah, it. Exactly. Uh, if you're buying a quality rifle, you fit it with a quality optic. Um, but just what a wonderful rifle to shoot. Um, yeah, thank, it is. thank you very much again to Pro Tactical. Yeah. Um, thank you very much to Rigby and thank you for Queensland Gun Exchange for supplying this, the ammunition for us today. This is just amazing. Yeah, nothing. We could not bolt a single thing on this. The only thing bad I have to say about the rifle is I can't afford it. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> because true. if I could, um, I'd absolutely have it. Yeah, these are amazing. And yes, they are worth the money. So people who say, oh, what's the point? Um, I think there is a point. I think this is... Yeah, we like, we like to cater to all shooters. I mean, we've yeah. had $500 rifles on the show. Um, we like to cater to all shooters. So yeah. we've chucked on a very expensive rifle today. Um, so that the shooters out there with the money to spend um, can have a look as well. We like exactly. to cater to everybody. We will have more cheap rifles coming up, but today we thought we'd have a good one on here. And yeah, this was a, yeah amazing experience. Yeah, absolutely worth yeah. the money. Um, well, there's not much to say about it apart from perfection. Yes. Yep. Thank you very much, Thank shooters. You. Thanks for watching. Yep.